In today's video, we're gonna be buying my dad a car, but before we even hop into that, I actually have an early Christmas present for you guys. Let me show you what I got. So I actually ran by Bass Pro Shops this morning. Okay, and I picked up, let me show you what I got. One, two, three, four $25 Bass Pro gift cards. And I got two $50 Bass Pro gift cards. If you guys know, last week we ran a giveaway on the website where we gave away 100 free fishing lures and two fishing reels. Now we're gonna be giving away four $25 Bass Pro gift cards and two $50 Bass Pro gift cards. I wanted to make this intro just because I actually use a fulfillment service for all my hoodies and t-shirts. If you don't order within the next three days, then you're not gonna receive your items by Christmas. All the hats and the who rags and the lanyards you'll receive by Christmas, but the other stuff you won't if you don't order in the next few days. If you order tonight and tomorrow on the website, I'm gonna be picking six lucky winners to win a Bass Pro Shops gift card. So go ahead and head over to kickingtheirbass.com. If you spend $30 or more, you're qualified to enter for the gift cards. One other thing I needed to say, the hats are actually out of stock currently, but we're taking pre-orders. If you do order a hat or a who rag or a lanyard, just know that it's probably gonna take a few weeks to ship and like I said about the hoodies and t-shirts, you need to go ahead and order them in the next three days if it's for a Christmas present or Christmas gift or anything before the 25th. So if you could, hop over to kickingtheirbass.com, cop some of the merch. It really means a lot to me. I love to see people repping the brand and going out there with the confidence to go catch them big bass. It means a lot to me. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. In today's video, we got a little vlog. You know, I went out, bought my dad a car, and uh, all in out was a fun video. I got intern Brad with me today when we were going to pick it up. You guys just need to stay tuned, watch the vlog. Let me know if you guys enjoy it. I will catch you guys in the next episode and also on kickingtheirbass.com. Link down below. Thank you for visiting. Okay, yes, we go. Can I get a turkey sausage egg and cheese croissant? And also, what size do you want? Give me a medium Americano. A medium Americano. Hot right. Hot. Hot, please. Two chocolate frosted donuts, and could I have some sugar in that Americano? Yes, sir. All right, you can go and pour it on. Thank you. You want a donut? You don't want a donut. You don't want a donut. I don't know if you want a ghost pepper donut. I don't know if you can handle it. Yo, Big Bass Energy logo placement on this camera. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for like a feather. I appreciate it. What's that? It's an iced coffee, man. Who gets iced coffee? Who gets iced coffee? Well, we have a very interesting video today. I'm actually buying my dad a car. This is a very unexpected video. You know, I went from filming fishing videos to taking a virus test to eating ghost pepper donuts to buying my dad a car, which is very interesting. So, to give you guys a little background story, the car that we're buying is actually a 1970s Camaro. So this is for my dad. His first car ever was actually a 1970 Camaro, and he was actually born in 1970, so this means a lot to him. Driving about 45 minutes out, we're paying this guy cash. We actually already went to the bank. It's a 50-year-old car. That is a 50-year-old car. Is that not crazy? That's whack. Got me some. Donuts, iced. Oh, no. <laughs> what you got, bro? <laughs> I don't have to do a little. We're gonna hop on the road. I actually have to call this the guy first that we're buying the car from and make sure I know exactly where we're medium. We got about a 45 minute drive. We're a little late on schedule today. Um, but the bank was taking a good bit of time. So I'm gonna call him real quick and then we're gonna hop on the road. We'll eat our Duncan as well. And we'll, talk, down. we'll talk about the Duncan when we get on the road. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get a Duncan review. A little Duncan review. Cause cool. I've never eaten food from Duncan. I was just gonna give you a call. I actually got stuck at the bank for a little while, but um, I'm gonna be hopping on the road here in a minute. I'm, I'm about to hop on the highway. I'm probably about 45 minutes from your exit. All righty, sounds good. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll text you when I'm about 20 minutes out. Uh, hey, yeah, that'll be fine. Yes, that'd be great. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Right, Yo, we have a problem, actually, before you start vlogging. I don't have any more vlog batteries. We got to go by the house real quick. Screw <laughs> that guy. This is sales call. Oh, they literally met. This is a no. Hey, done with this Howard uh, with Brooks towing? Yes, sir. I'm coming to get that Camaro. 
Um, Perfect. I just want to touch base with you. Mm -hmm. GPS says I'll be at your house at 1204. Thank you so much for doing this as well. So we are on the way now. I had to stop and get one of my batteries. Long story short, I like lost two of my batteries. I don't even know where they went, but I did find another one that was magically charged and then I grabbed my charger and we have one plugged up in the car right now. So we're about to hop on the road. Um, we got about a 40 minute drive. We're gonna go pick up this car. And then once we pick up the car, we gotta make it back here. This is one thing I didn't say. That's what that phone call was. In a race. Um, there's a guy that's actually picking it up from my house at 12 o'clock, which we're a little on crunch time because of how long the bank took. And he's gonna be picking it up from my house and towing it to my parents' house in Atlanta. One eternity later. We just got to the building. Well, we're actually at a bank. We're at a bank. But. Wouldn't that have been convenient if it was the bank that we had to go to this morning, like the same bank and just pull Oh, there's the Krispies. Bro, we just got Dunkin'. There is a crispy pride. That is way better than Dunkin'. All right, so I I haven't told this guy I'm filming yet, so I am going to ask permission before we just go out there and just start filming. Yeah, let's go take a look at the car. And uh, I'm excited. I decided he was going to get married next year, and it just sits there. I'm telling you. Put this motor in it, brand new crate 350, and wow. it's probably got less than 500 miles. Can give us a lot. Can so. I keep your box? Yeah. You got anything in there important? No, you're perfect. Yeah, I was just wanting to double check, you never know. I was working on them, and he had a 69 Camaro. Yeah, signed the He's back of both of those. Signed the bill of sale. All right, it's all done. The key that's in the ignition uh -huh. is the only ignition key. There's two more square ones on there. Yeah. I don't even know what they go to. All right. I appreciate it, Thank man. Thank you so good much. Meeting you. It was a pleasure and, uh, meeting you. I hope your dad gets good service out of it and gets it looking good this morning. Yeah. Yeah. It's all done. Got the bill of sale, got everything. There it is. 70s Camaro. My dad's going to be so happy. He's going to be working on this thing. And I know it's so windy. I apologize, but beautiful little car. We're going to get a few more shots probably before we head back to the house, but we got to get out of here because that guy's mean us to tow it away. So we're going to go ahead and hop on the road. 45 minute drive back home. Let's get it. It's my first time driving an older Camaro, so I'm excited about it. My head's like touching the ceiling in this car. We're, we're going to call Big Steve real quick. Bradley's actually driving the tank back. I told him, I'm like, you sure? You're okay driving it, and he said, okay. He's already pulling out, Brad, what are you doing? Give me a second, man. Oh. Yeah. It's all done. There you go, just cranked her up. Yeah, he already signed the bill of sale. We both have a copy. You're in it driving it? I'm about to drive it. Hell yeah, you're about to get cool. <laughs> I'm about to get cool, I'll have you on camera. <laughs> You're about to get cool. Think about this. That car's a 1970. And you were born when? In 87? 87? 97, Twinkie. 97? <laughs> Bro, this car, this car is way older than me. The car's double your 27 age. years older than me. <laughs> is that not crazy? And it's still relevant driving. Alright, well I'm gonna put this in my navigation. I'll keep you updated. I gotta get on the road. Let me know when you get home. Alright, love you. Yo. Ready to go? Yeah, give me one. I'm trying to put this in my navigation, boy. Alright, we're gonna be probably 20 minutes late. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the road. I'll catch you guys here in a minute. I'm gonna get out of here. Made it to the gas station. Have to get a little bit of gas. That's where the gas tap is. Isn't that amazing? That's, that's awesome. Think about this, guys. This car is 27 years older than me. See, we had one fourth of a tank, and you know, I could probably make it back, but at the same time, you don't want to risk it. He wants to gas it. He's lying. <laughs> he just wants to gas it. It's an experience, bro. You gotta go through it. Almost put diesel in this thing. <laughs> That's the realness of it, ain't it? Yeah. I asked Bradley, I was like, dude, you know where you put the gas in this thing? He's like, no. I'm like, I'm too young for this, man. It's crazy. It's a 50 year old car. It's a beautiful car. Show him the car. We didn't really get to show him the car. It's a beautiful car. My dad's going to be putting a lot of work in on this. Weird. He's going to be posting a bunch of videos. You know, he's going to put a lot of work into this thing. I don't know exactly what he's going to be doing with it. But Is I he going to repaint it? He's, I know he's going to do it. I don't know if he's going to repaint it, but, um, I don't know. I have to ask him. That guy said he repainted it, what, four years ago? Yeah. That's what he said. Hmm. So, what color did he say it was before? Gold. Gold. 
Honestly, I'm not a big not. burgundy guy. I'm not a big burgundy guy either. It don't look bad though. Or you put 20 bucks in it? We're just talking, whatever. I put $23 in it. I'm used to my diesel, bro. That, that, that truck, my truck goes 35 gallons. It takes a while. We're gonna hop right back on the road. It looks like it's got some power, what I can tell from Noah driving just a little bit. He's gonna let it loose here in a minute, I think. All right guys, so we're to load, loading up the car. Take it to Big Steve. It looks way better in the sun. Well, that was a fun experience going and getting my dad a car and vlogging the whole thing. You know, it was one of those videos where I didn't know if I was going to film it or not. And um, I talked to my parents and they were like, you should just vlog it. Like, why not vlog it? I'm like, you know what? Why not vlog it? And then Brad was vlogging it too. So I was like, you know what? We might as well vlog this journey on getting my dad his first or my first car that I'm getting my you know what i'm saying but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really appreciate the love and support recently it means a lot we're gonna be having some banging bass fishing content coming out very soon as you guys can tell i don't have the boat in my driveway it's actually at my parents house in atlanta i'm gonna go pick that up here in a few days and we're probably gonna run fishing for river monsters i want to say season four or season five and it's going to be bigger and better this year bigger and better this time we're going to catch some good bass on the river so thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll catch y'all in the next episode <laughs>